We can predict and know at birth or even before birth our risk of cancer, of heart disease, of dementia, of different genetic diseases at a stage where you might be able to do something about them even before they occur. That's going to be a whole paradigm shift in medicine. Right now, medicine is driven by your symptoms. Trying to understand diseases before they occur has never been part of the medical establishment. Our goal is trying to deal with diseases across the spectrum. So if we can make cancer predictable and more treatable, and heart disease predictable and preventable, by doing that, we'll increase the lifespan of those people. Aging is the single biggest risk factor for virtually every significant human disease. The goal at Human Longevity Inc. is to change the face of aging. It's not just a long life we're striving for, but one which is worth living. I believe strongly in empowering people uh, to have control of their own lives by having this knowledge. Well, I'm hoping we're just getting started. We're trying to show that knowledge is power and will enable uh, lots and lots of success stories. When we launched our offering in 2015, we were focused on collecting the highest quality data on each of our clients. That we've accomplished, but what we've heard from you, our client, is the desire to turn this data into knowledge and that knowledge into an action plan. With that mindset and passion came the genesis of the 100 plus membership program. As a 100 plus member, you will begin your journey with your own personally assigned health nucleus longevity physician who will outline a focused action plan with checkpoints and support to help you achieve your goals and beyond. Your doctor will be supported by a panel of longevity experts in many fields of medicine and science who will help interpret your information and provide a team-based approach to your longevity. With quarterly check-ins and wearables chosen to provide you real-time feedback, we will stay connected to support you. As a 100 plus member, you will also have access to world-class advice when needed from the renowned Massachusetts General Hospital network of physicians. I'm so proud to be part of this vision and this team. Longevity can't happen in a day, a week, or a month. It's a state of mind and a lifestyle. And we're here as your partner today and for all the years to come. How is the health nucleus different from other, well, first of all, your average physician, your average primary care physician, your internist, your family medicine doctor, your um, OBGYN, um, they really don't understand this. So that your average primary care practice, they're re really not, they, they don't know what to do with this. But I think what's offered here, I think this is a fair statement, it's probably the most comprehensive physical, in-depth, deep dive physical examination available anywhere in the world today. But I think what's the potential here for the cutting edge data that we can obtain uh, for our patients is, and, and for others is, is extraordinary. The significant finding was I came up homozygous uh, uh, for two copies of the, um, the rapsin gene which codes for something called uh, a disease called CMS, congenital myasthenic syndrome. And the significance of that was because my brother, my younger brother, uh, had been diagnosed 25 years earlier with myasthenia gravis. Sure enough, he's got two copies as well. We, we sit down with the genetic counselor and the medical geneticist, and they say, we don't know how to tell you this, but you've been treated for the wrong disease for the past 25 years. My name is Robin Heister and I am a physician focused on genomics and translational medicine. The second reason I believe in the power of genetics is a personal one. I had my first child, Tyler, in 2004. In the first week of his life, I was told he had PKU. 
PKU is basically a metabolic condition where I'm not able to break down the amino acid phenylalanine, so I have to keep track of all the protein that I eat in a day. The reason Tyler's journey with PKU has been so influential on my career is that it blows me away when I think of all the progress that's been made, even just in his lifetime. There are so many new options for genetic conditions that didn't exist even a decade ago. The difference between the way I was trained 20 years ago in precision medicine today is the focus on being predictive, proactive, personalized. I think we're gonna find it's a lot cheaper and more effective to prevent rather than treat disease.